Eximo Renteria at 125 for Illinois. He's got a tough task against the number five ranked Liam Cronin. Trying to get to a two on one. Cronin doing a good job defending it. Go, Maximo. Minute into the first period here, not much action. Cronin throws his headgear off. Perhaps make a stop to the match. Not much action for both wrestlers here in the first period. Single tap, nice re-attack. Nothing. Both wrestlers seem a little bit hesitant to set up and fire an attack. Just quick few attempts. Cronin throws him by, gets a takedown. Cronin looking to tilt right away. Max Moe's looking to get an escape here, try to keep the riding time under a minute going into the second period. See if he can get an escape. Nice knee slide up to his feet. Nice duck attempt by Renneria. Looking to finish it here. Cronin kind of cartwheels over. Great defense by Cronin. Let's see if Renneria can finish it on the edge here. 20 seconds left in the first. Cronin looking, looking to get out of bounds, get a fresh start. Cronin with the great flexibility in defense here. Looks like we're not going to get anything. Two to one going into the second period. Cronin leaded, leading with 30 seconds of riding time. Nebraska chooses the down position. Nice return by Renneria, but Cronin's looking for a defensive fall here. Don't know who's swipe, who's getting swipes here. Four swipes for Renneria, and the brick comes in from the Nebraska corner. They do not think those were Renneria's back points. Oh. Ooh, Renneria rolls it through. It's gonna be four back points for Nebraska here. Let's see how they yeah, do this. The previous. 
this play is under review. It's like the call got overturned. So the four point near fall overturned. Cronin is still leading two to one. position, never mind. Nice shot by Cronin, gets a takedown. Cronin leading five to one, 30 seconds into the first, second period. Cronin's not really looking to ride Ranaria, leading four to three. An optional start. In the half fight now. One point escape, Illinois. Two point takedown. Ronan really doing a good job getting in on these shots, getting to his takedowns. Ronan locks up the cradle, doesn't get it. Oh, gets two swipes there. Two point near fall. Nebraska. I'm moving! Looking to get bonus points. He's crowning. Cronin with a minute 35 riding time going into the third period, leading 11 to 4. Maximo's choice. Looks like he's going to choose bottom.
Garner looking to do an optional start again. He's looking to get the major here. One point escape, Illinois. In the half five. Cronin really dominant on his feet. John, I think six takedowns this match. Very impressive. Stalling, Illinois. Cronin essentially leading by nine points here, back in another double, and another takedown. Looking to get a quick till here at the end, but nothing with riding time. Cronin wins 18 to seven. Taking the forfeit. And wrestling for Illinois, Anthony Federico. Tough task for Anthony Federico taking on number one, Peyton Robb. Peyton Robb, ranked number one in the country. The Corn Oscars, super strong, super fun to watch wrestle. Keep his lead.
Again, this near fall here, gonna try to sink to the pin. Federico trying to fight off here. One minute remaining. Federico doing a good job here, not getting pinned. Four point near fall, Nebraska. From the get though here, some good action. These two are looking to get after it. Edmund in on a shot. And it's gonna be a scramble here. Looking to get some elevation. Looking to pass that leg. Nabriola coming through. And a takedown, Nebraska. Take him out of bounds, trying to get a turn there. A matchup like this will be huge for uh, seeding come Big Tens. Two ranked guys like this. And an escape for Edmund Roof.
we're coming do, down to a minute left here in the first. Some good action from both wrestlers. Both wrestlers trying to figure each other out here. Ruth takes her shot. Tries to get to his underhooks. Can't. Saw a score from Labriola that period, but uh, kind of a chess match there. Each, each, uh, each guy trying to figure the other out. We'll see where it goes here. Nebraska chooses down. Hammond's gonna look to Matt return him. Yeah, Nebraska the secures the escape. Jockeying for position here. Edmund with the shot. Crowd really getting into it here. And a double leg by Edmund Ruth. Labriola is able to get some defense there, and they're back in that scramble position we saw early in the first. Edmund's going to look to get a two count here. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, that's a scramble for sure. And it's gonna be two Nebraska. But Edmund's gonna be right to his feet. And Nebraska will end the period on top here. Illinois is gonna choose down here. Riding time, not a factor as we go into the third. And Edmund's gonna get to his feet. He's gonna need to generate some offense here. Edmund in on a double leg, he gets a takedown. But that won't be enough for him to win this match. He lets him go, looking to get another one here and put it in tie territory. The crowd really getting loud here. They wanna see some more action as we get to a the final minute marker here in the third period at the 174 bout. Oh, 
Edmund Ruth. In another shot, a stalling call on Nebraska. Thirty seconds here, and Edmund in the front head. He looks to get a takedown and returns him to the mat for two. Edmund Ruth two. We're tied six to six with 22 left here in the third. Edmund needs a ride out to go to overtime. Looks to the mat return him, and they're going to be out of bounds, ladies and gentlemen. This is the match here. The crowd is ecstatic. Really great action here in this 174 match. Edmund's gonna need to get a ride out here for the next 12 seconds to go to overtime. Labriola to his feet. Ed, Labriola tries to roll, Edmund needs to hold on here. Three seconds. And it looks like we're going to overtime. Those of you who are unaware, the first overtime period is a two-minute period with the first score taking the cake. Seems like one of those typical Ruth matches. You just wear them down by the third and start to attack. Yeah, Edmund can kind of be a slow starter. We're going to start it. He's in on a leg already. And Labriola looking to scramble, trying to pass an ankle. Edmund Ruth trying to get two. Looks like. So continue wrestling, and that's going to be a takedown for Nebraska. Not the result the Illini wanted, but wow, was that an exciting match. Nebraska again putting out number 16 ranked opponents back to back 184 197 it was Pinto number 16 at 84 now Silas Allred number 16 at 197 to take on Zach Bronigal. Zach a hard hand fighter out there he's gonna try and make Silas feel his weight Zach in on a shot. He looks to have some size there against the Nebraska wrestler as well. Coming up to their feet. Zach with another shot. Out of bounds. really hanging heavy on that head there. Trying to wear him out for later in the match to open him up for some offense. Bonus points crucial for the Illini if they want to stay in this duel here. Attempt for Nebraska. Do you all want to food too? Do I need to order you a five star meal? So far, scoreless this first period, but some good action by both wrestlers. Alexis, I agree with you. And you know what I say, guys? Second, Zach. Let's do it. Let's go. 
scoreless going into the second period here. Both wrestlers trying to feel each other out, create some openings. And Nebraska's gonna choose down. Nebraska's wrestler to their feet, and Ronigal puts him back on the mat. Silas Allred. I made the executive decision that the heavyweight match is now me versus what this one was 16 to 1 for Nebraska. Ronagal trying to keep his backside towards the center of the mat and keep the pressure on. Showing he is the offender on a leg to a takedown, two points, Zach Bronigal. Let's him all. One minute remaining. He's going to try and get another takedown here. In on a low single. Looking to finish. Solid whizzer from the Nebraska wrestler. Ronald will try to get that corner. He's going to have to keep him in bounds. And they're gonna be out of bounds. Some energy from the Nebraska corner over there. A shot attempt from Silas, but Bronigal rubber legs out of that one. At this point, Chase, what's the game plan for Bronigal with Illinois down the way they are and him tied in this match? Yeah, starting on bottom here in the third period, he's going to look to get an escape and uh, then keep putting them on. He's uh, seen some success on his feet. Uh, hopefully, uh, as the third period comes around, he's going to hope that some of that work he did, uh, hang on his head early in the match, is going to help him open up the Nebraska wrestler and get some takedowns. Goes for a reversal. The Nebraska wrestler gets him to his back. Zach Ronigal fighting for his life here. Looks like a challenge brick from the Illinois corner. But a false call. Check that challenge brick here. Not sure what that was about. But that could change things here on this on this 197 pound match. Previous play is under review. See the motion from Coach Mike Poeta possibly looking for a locked hands. 
Looks like a quick review. Looks like the call on the mat is going to stand. No locked hands. That was what was under detention.